Okay, so let's learn something about this thing. This is a Santa Claus melon. I think it has another name. I'll Google that information and leave it in the description. But anyhow, when I was in the market, um, I was looking for mangoes. And, and um, they didn't have any that was pleasing to my eyes and hands. So I didn't get it. So I got on old Google Eye and I said, okay, what's common Hispanic fruits? So, you know, they named mango, they named papaya, and then they said something about this thing, the Santa Claus melon. Okay. So what I'm going to do for us, I'm going to bust down Tatiana and see what we got going on in the middle. Got this bowl over here ready. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him because I'm going to cut him and then taste him. If he's not delicious, he'll be a juice. If he is delicious, I'm thinking a fruit salad. Let's get him. Let's see. I'm going to cut him this way like I would a watermelon. He's soft. Yeah, he got seeds in here, y'all. The flush is white. Yeah, y'all see that? He smell like cantaloupe or honeydew melon. More or less honeydew melon. Let me get a spoon so I can de-seed him. And I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm going to put the seeds in here. Okay, this is how I do. Some of us might got the fancy tool. Think about me when you get that tool. Or if you don't have it and you find one, think about me. Okay, but right now we're using what we have. I just want to scrape the center. Can y'all see that? This thing juicy. Ooh, he's so juicy. See, I scraped. All the seeds away from the flesh. And then I'm gonna just pour them out into this bowl. This is my garbage bowl, y'all. So don't think this is something I'm keeping. I don't need that. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Seeds in the garbage bowl. Let's do the other side. Okay. The flesh is not too firm. Can y'all see? Okay, okay. Uh-huh. And then you dump it out. Right? It old Santa Claus melon. I want to be careful to get all the seeds because I don't want no Santa Claus melon growing in my belly. <laughs> Remember when we were kids and we thought that? Okay. So. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, just because I'm the cook, and like I said, I've never had this melon before, I'm gonna just slice out a little piece and see what we gonna find out, y'all. Let me see. Okay, like you do the watermelon. Remember what now? The cook is what? It tastes like not quite honeydew, not quite cantaloupe, but in the middle, I guess. It got more of a watermelon taste to me. Let me see. Let me make sure. Hold on. Let me show you. I think if I made a juice with him, it would be too light. It is. It's good. It's not bad. I would buy it again. Seven dollars. Six six ninety nine, I think, five ninety nine. Yeah. I would buy it again. But it'd have to be on sale though. It ain't that good. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and break this down, cut him up for a fruit salad, I guess. Because he's real soft. I don't think 
he would be good for juice, like I said. So I'm gonna break him down, and I'm gonna also add some cantaloupe in here, and I have a half of honeydew left over. Baby boom, okay? Yeah, let, let me break him down. I'm gonna do him the same way I would a cantaloupe. I'm gonna just slice him, and then peel, peel the flesh away from the skin, and put him into inch size pieces or so. Y'all need to see that? Holla at your girl, let me know. But right now, I'm thinking everybody know how to cut the fruit out the skin. If you don't, okay. Let me show you. I'll show you. Let me show you. Okay. Slice. I like to use a smaller knife for this part of the project. Okay. Peel the flesh away from the skin. I don't know how bitter it is. You know, some fruit get bitter closer to the skin. So let me taste this piece right here. Hold on. This fruit is not sweet enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole melon just the same. I'll be back. Okay, listen. After I did the first half, I, I changed my mind. I think I am gonna make a juice, except I'm gonna make it in the blender, not the juice machine, okay? But let me also show you something else that I figured out. I cut the melon the opposite way, right? It was oblong, so I cut it the other way. I found that it was easier to peel cutting it this way than then coming on the back side, holding it upside down, you know? I found it to be easier to peel and manage because I got such large hands. You have big hands. Okay. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I left, it, I left them in larger pieces, okay? I'm gonna also go ahead and prep the cantaloupe. I'm gonna pull that half of honeydew melon out and everything, and then I'm going to prep everything all the same and prepare it for the blender. Yes, this is a lot of fruit. So I'm just gonna do this whole Santa Claus melon half of the cantaloupe and the other half of the honeydew and run it through the blender and pull out my um, milking bag and put that muscle on it. Anyway, let me finish peeling this fruit and get ready to make some blender juice. And remember, just because we do not eat the outside flesh of something, you still need to wash it. It was on the ground, remember? Okay? I'm gonna work with this light, cause y'all see that? I'm sick of that. Maybe I should bring my ring light a little closer. Anyway, don't forget to wash the outside of everything, okay? You know, you got to wash it, even though you're not gonna eat it. Cause you see how it's hitting, hitting the surface? When you cut him, Sometimes the inside flesh part also hit the same surface, so you want everything to be clean. I just had to come back and remind y'all that, but I'm sure you already knew, right? Okay, let me bust down Tatiana, sister, cousin. Probably a cousin, because they might be in the same family. Melon. This is a cantaloupe. Let me cut him in half and take the seeds out and prep them the same way as I did the Santa Claus melon. I'll be back. Okay. So this is the honeydew melon. Remember in the juicer, we actually kept the skin on. Since I'm doing it in a blender, <laughs> I ain't going down through there like that. I'm going to peel it. But let me show you what we have, because this is what I came to show you. Okay, both the back side. You see, the Santa Claus melon is white. Honeydew melon has a light shade of green okay so i'm going to finish peeling these and doing what i got to do y'all see that cantaloupe sitting up in there it's all right so hopefully the cantaloupe is sweet enough to bring all of this together i don't necessarily care if it's syrupy sweet because i'm not that type of you know i'm not a sugar girl so the cantaloupe has enough sugar in it for me so hopefully bring it all together and if not we still have another half sitting right here that we could juice in it to make it do what we want it to do but let me peel this and get ready to go over to this blender blender 
Y'all see that skin? Mmm. Yep. It's my flush. But anyway, y'all, let me stop playing games. We about to make some blender juice. We have honeydew melon, cantaloupe, and Santa Claus melon. We're going to drop it all in there, put the blender on. I don't know what setting I'm going to use it. I got that ninja blender. Got all them different settings. But anyhow, I'm going to change our setup. We got to go to the blender. Hang tight. Let's get over there. Okay. All right. Now, so we're going to use the ninja. Let me see here. Turn them on. So let me see what we got. Let me see what we got. Okay. So it says, um, let me see which setting I'm going to use. Give some sauce of dressing. Mm -mm. I just want to go manual. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just blend it until, because let, let me go back and tell y'all what this thing say. I can make flour, frozen drinks, I can extract, I can make smoothies, soup, ice cream, puree, dips or sauces, dressing, and nut butters. That's all the settings on this Ninja. I don't know which one it is. Ninja IQ somebody. But yeah, this is the blender I'm going to use. I'm going to just put it on manual and blend some of the fruit until it get, yeah, juice down. I mean, message. But anyhow, this, ain't nobody's dishwasher. I, gr I rubbed past it. It all stopped that mess. This is my milking bag, as you can see. I wrote that on there. And I got a note, wash and dry before storing. This is my milking bag, right? Let me show y'all. I'm sure I showed you this once before. This is how we're going to strain the juice once we get it made. We're going to run it through here. I'm going to put something large enough, hopefully, to catch all of the, the juice. And then I'll let it just strain through here. And once it's done, squeeze him out. Okay? Milking bag. You can get this here on Amazon. You might can even find one in your local... Mom. Mom. But okay, let's pack the fruit up into the blender and let's see what we gonna do. Put as many in there that'll fit. Look like a space there. I should have put another two or three in there. But anyhow, now I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna turn them on. I'm gonna pulse. I might have to have a little water in here to get them going. Okay, stop. Yes. Yes. Hang tight. Let's get some water. This is probably about a cup. This bowl holds two cups. my support. Hold on. Mm. Gotta rinse him off, guys. Mm. Yeah. This came with this little ninja. I didn't, I didn't buy this simple. This nothing fancy. It came with the blender. Straight in the hole, right? Let's see if we can make it. Get on down in there. Oh, yeah. All right. Keep working. And then when we get finished, I'll be back. Because that's a lot of noise. Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you. See, it's, as it's blending, it's looking like it's going to be too much. I got some white juice. So I'm gonna stop at this point and I'm gonna get me something and start preparing to, you know, strain. Hang tight, let me get something. Okay, let me show y'all. I'm super country. We making juice from a blender, right? 
because if you had a juicer, you wouldn't need to strain it, right? Because all of the pulp would come out through the other opposite side in the shoe. Okay, anyway, we improvising, right? I needed something large enough so I can pour all of this in so I can make it one good, good strain or whatever. So, if you don't want to take this tip, <laughs> don't. I'm just showing you, you don't have to go spend no bunch of money. But okay, so, this is what we're going to do. Oh, girl, you didn't like that thing, Becky. Look at you. Jesus, Joseph, and Murray. Okay, that beautiful juice. We're going to pour it through. I'm not going to pour all of it in here because I need some liquid for the rest of the fruit. Remember, I did add that about a cup of water. Okay. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. And it still looks like it's too much. Look at the bottom. See, it's already straining. Think I'm lying. You don't have to spend no bunch of money on no, no juice. Though I did. Don't be like me. Start this way first, if this is what your money allow you to do. Now, let me go and finish blending all of the fruit, the remainder of the fruit, right? So we can get this juice together and see what it tastes like. Y'all know what else? Since I'm running my chapters. Why I didn't buy some turmeric to go in this? I wasn't thinking I was going to make no juice. That's probably why. But anyhow, listen. If I leave here today. Again, turmeric. Gotta put that on my list. And I want to go to a store that sells it in bulk. Cause I ain't want to pay no bunch of money for that little pack and don't even use it out. I'm sure you could freeze it, but anyway, I bought some ginger. Should I use that? Huh. What did I buy the ginger for? Maybe we'll fuck. Let me finish this and I'll come back. Now, all fruit has been worked through the blender. I have to come finish straining it. I have to give you a little tip. Okay, preparing to go to that place. Don't forget that dishwater is very important. That's the first thing you need to do. Your kitchen should already be clean, but still you start some dishwater. I ain't going to tell you how to run your house. Just make sure you have some dishwater, okay? So anyhow, pro tip for the blender juice. Make sure you keep that blender going until everything is broke down. You don't want to see no chunks and pieces in here, okay? Everything needs to be completely blended. So that way you're getting your juice the most the juice okay be careful with this contraption y'all don't let that knife come out of there or that straw because it's holding up your your bag for you because you only have two hands you can't hold two hands hold it you know what i'm talking about right let me turn this around so this knife won't get me good it's a butter knife but still you know sometimes a little ridge will still get to you and they'll get these fingernails I'm going to pour this down in here. Y'all look at that juice. <laughs> Think I'm lying. You can juice with a blender. And it's likely that the pump that we're straining, it's likely to be nothing in that bag. Right? But... We gonna, we gonna keep it going so we can be all the way through. I'm gonna allow this to do its magic while I go and, and finish preparing myself. I think I'm gonna get dressed for work. Listen at that thing again. You can't touch it, it's so sensitive. Okay, but anyhow, I'm gonna go in here and beat this face. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna wash these dishes and then put that little piece of eye makeup on, I think. I gotta get ready to go to that place. So I'm gonna try to do two for one. Juice is gonna be breakfast. So, 
Let me put the top on this while I go and do whatever I'm going to do. And when I get done, I'll show y'all the next step. So I'll be back. Hang on. It shouldn't take long. I'm going to leave this to tend to this just long enough for me to put my eyes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the, and while I wash these dishes. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This is looking like it's happening pretty quick. But the bag is still, the, the juice is coming through and filling up to where the bag is at. So wish me luck. I'm, what I'm going to try to do is pour out what's been strained without wasting what's in here so it can keep working. Look at me, them wasted this darn piece of stuff I went too far, okay? Yee, I'm a pro. Yes, all I want is a Jew ass. It's the Jew ass. Y'all see that foam in there? Y'all can see it. My goal is to keep that foam frothed in the bag, okay. Almost three cups so far. So yeah. I didn't even get to put my eyes on yet. I probably won't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm gonna keep fooling with this because I want this to get done so I can get ready and get out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put this back down and let me see if I can. If I waste this juice, I'm going to be mad as old dookie dog dookie. Okay. So, hush. I want all the juice out of there so I can. Nope, nope, nope. That's it. That's all. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that foam try to jump out on me? I know you lying. Hold on. I had to run over there and give me some paper towels. Can y'all see that? Let me move my juice. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Uh huh. Get you right on up out of there. That's what I'm straining out through the through the milking bag. I know you lying. Try to get in there. Okay. Another thing. You can also use a fine mesh strainer to do this, right? But this to me, the holes in this strainer is a lot larger than what we got going on with this milking bag. So for this simple thing, the milking neck bag is better for me. Yep, mm -hmm. get out the way. Oh, I'm sorry y'all, but yeah. So far, we almost got four cups, which is good. Because juice, when you're juicing, the um, you have to juice every two or three days. Don't think that you can juice for days and days and days on end. You only need to juice, juice what you can consume within three days. So, four cups, that means we'll drink two cups for two days. So y'all, what y'all think if I should um I could add um ginger slices directly. I could peel it, peel a little piece, and then slice it and put a piece of ginger in each bottle, because you know I'm gonna bottle it up. Or should I put a cinnamon stick in them too? You just we're in the lab, we can do what we I'm just saying, you know, I'm just thinking how good that might be. Cinnamon, ginger, melon juice. I'm going to cut one cinnamon stick in half. Try to anyway. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Let me get that together. Yep, yep, let me do that. Now, I'm mad and salty. But anyway, I could not find my cinnamon stick, so which means I guess I'm out Dirty damn. Oops, excuse me. Here's the ginger. Drop it down in there. Right? And the only thing that we're doing is infusing. So what I'm going to do is add. 
I guess one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Cinnamon does not dissolve, so I'll be shaking this juice up every time I get ready to take a swallow. So let me um, let me put the cinnamon in first. Okay. Ooh, wish me luck. Hope that it tastes good. Cause even if it don't taste good, what we gonna do? Drink it. Okay, each bottle. Now we're gonna pour the juice down in, right? Oh yes, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm not gonna, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Let me show you. I think I found out that these bottles are 18 ounces. See that ginger floating up to the top? See that cinnamon powder still in there doing what it did? Still going to be good. And y'all remember, cinnamon does not break up. That's why I wanted a stick, not a um, powder. But I'm using what I have. I still want that flavor and the benefit of the cinnamon. I should probably put the cinnamon on the top now. I'm looking at it because... He down here at the bottom of his jar acting like he ain't gonna get. I know you lying. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Fill up the second jar. Have to get the rest of the juice out the bucket. I'm just gonna put a little in this one and try to shake him vigorously to make sure that cinnamon moves. Yeah, that's how I should have did that. First one, y'all, listen. And it's, look, <laughs> it's going to still turn back. Cinnamon does not dissolve. If you don't believe me, try this project for yourself. Ask me why. I can't give you an answer, but we can show go on Google and look it up and see. Okay. Mm. That's going to be good, bro. It already look good. So... The longer the ginger sit in, the more ginger flavor you get. So tomorrow's bottle for breakfast is going to be so much better than today's because it's going to actually have time for everything to come together. But anyway, we made blender juice, cinnamon, ginger, melon juice. Toodles. Okay, friends, I decided to do a project for you guys, okay? I'm shaking him up, right? Y'all see? The cinnamon is all mixed in. I'm going to just sit him here. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. Because I don't have time, much time to get ready. So, I want you all to watch and see, what, see how it's kind of dark. We're going to see the cinnamon float up closer to the foam. I can already see it. Y'all see it? Right here. Can y'all see that? I know you see it. I know you see it. Anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon does not dissolve. I would rather put a cinnamon stick in here so I can get all of it out of here. But, hey, we're using what we have, right? This is a... Cinnamon, ginger, melon juice. I just want to show y'all this with the cinnamon. Oh, let me push this one over here so y'all can see. Let me put this one up close since we got time. Y'all see the cinnamon coming up? This one didn't, I didn't do this one. Right. I'm not perfect. See that? He acting funny. I'm going to have to stick some down in there and get that. Because I know you lying. But anyway. Yeah. Cinnamon does not dissolve. It's going to be in here. So every time you get ready to drink something that you have liquid with cinnamon in it, put that work in, okay? Just this right here. It says 36 more seconds, y'all, okay? So since we got time, I got time. It's just coffee. Okay, 
in two minutes time, almost all of my cinnamon came to the top. Maybe I should take a picture and show y'all how it look in the morning because I got to get out here and go to that place. Oh, two minutes has passed. And that cinnamon done exactly what I told you it was going to do. Not dissolve and float up. You're going to shake that juice up every time before you drink it. Because you can't drink this in one swallow, so let's not even pretend. Shake it up every time you get ready to drink it.